Okay, delivery metrics, um, which is, a, unfortunately for me, become a bit of a hot topic recently. It wasn't when I submitted this talk. Uh, I thought no one would care, so... <laughs> Whoops. Um, so yeah, there was a, an article published, a blog post published by a big um, management consultancy not long ago um, called, Yes, You Can Measure Software Development uh, Developer Productivity, and the entire Agile community saw this and basically uh, lost their mind. Um, <laughs> but that's not what this is about, because I wrote this before this all happened. I shoved this in at the end. Um, so we're going to start simple. Like, What is a delivery metric, and why do we care? Um, so we're all DevOps people, right? So you've probably all heard of like Dora metrics. You've probably also heard of stuff like sprint velocity, uh, cycle time, that kind of thing. So there's any way of like quantifying um, how an engineering team is doing. <laughs> I forgot she was in there. Um, and why should why should we care? Um, well, you might not care, um, but over a billion dollars of VC funding in the last couple of years has gone into metrics tracking software. So you might not care, but your boss very well may care, and the people in charge of things probably care. Um, <clears throat> so I've never been in charge of stuff, um, but I have been a developer for quite a long time, um, and I've been a team lead for a couple of those years um, as well. So I have been, <laughs> I can tell you what metrics um, were for me, um, and how I use them, and what I thought was good, but your mileage, mileage may vary, obviously. Um, so when I was a developer, uh, I was very focused on efficiency, um, not through any like greater good or anything, I was just a very... Dear, I missed one. <laughs> yeah, so the important question is why are you measuring things? For possibly any of those reasons. Uh, but when I was a developer, I was focused on efficiency, but not because of any like greater good or anything. I was just a very, I'm a very easily distracted person. And so if I have to wait for a pipeline to run <laughs> or something, or if I have to wait for unit tests that take more than like two minutes, I'm off for the rest of the day. You've lost me. I've done some, I'm doing something else. Um, so measuring something like um, the time between a PR being submitted and the review being started is actually a really useful thing because it will highlight stuff like, um, impediments in your process that might be getting in the way of your team. Um, and as a team, you can like talk about this in a retro, decide if you want to do anything about it, um, whatever, which um, we didn't. Um, and, the other, and when I was a team lead, I was more focused on like the performance of my teams as a whole. Um, partly so we could work out like where to focus our energies, like if the release process was difficult or whatever. And partly because um, I almost daily had to justify our existence to our CTO. Um, <laughs> it was a dysfunctional place. Oh, I'm behind now. Um, so, yes, um, for team stuff, you can't go too wrong with the Dora metrics, which I'm not going to go into because it take more than two minutes and 21 seconds. Um, but you can go and Google it. It's based on, the, it's actual research done by Google um, based on uh, high-performing teams and how to define that. And they came up with these four metrics um, that are really simple um, that show high-speed, high-stability teams uh, are more high-functioning. You can check your numbers against like their data set and see if you're elite or not. Um, but yes, the most important thing about all of the, <laughs> the metrics I like to use is that they're all very, t they're all team-based. I would never ever encourage anyone to use a, <laughs> an individual metric measure because rockstar developers, they're not a thing. You do not want to encourage that kind of behavior. The second most important thing, while well, I'm running out of time, is um, that none of this was a secret. How they're calculated, what they're used for, and what we use the results for was never a secret from the team um, because this is all based on people and people's actions. And if people, if you know you're being watched, I can't remember what's coming up next. Oh, yeah. Um, people's behavior will change um, based on things being measured. Like, measurement will become a target. Um, and <laughs> as, <laughs> as uh, you may know, developers are a very cynical bunch. Uh, and if we feel like we're being manipulated um, in any way, uh, we, will, we will just play you right back. Um, so trying to use a metric or a target to incentivize a type of behavior is very dangerous territory. Um, like if, you, if someone decides we need to complete more story points in a sprint, you might find all of our tickets are suddenly a 13. Um, so the real, this is not like a call to arms or anything. Like we're not all going to quit over a dodgy chart um, or something, but it's more like an awareness thing. Like you are being measured. People are watching what you're doing. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> but if you're in charge of any of this, then there's, you need to think about what you're doing. You need to choose your metrics wisely. Are they actually telling you what they, you think they are telling you? Talk to the team so they don't try and undermine or fiddle the numbers uh, and understand the limitations because our, our work does have a lot of creativity and uncertainty in it and reducing us down to delivery time um, and number of tickets is only part of the story. And this was a filler slide because I knew I was going to go over. Um, but yeah, these are the metrics of my talk. Um, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
you clapped over my last 10 seconds where I was going to um, make a plug for the company I work for who do do these metrics. We, do, we collect stuff from like Jira, GitHub, whatever, um, but we do it in a very unopinionated and very nice way, like um, not in a micromanagey, terrible way. So if you're interested at all, give us a Google. And if you mention me or this and you end up buying it, I get commission. So thank you. <laughs>